guys, Cindy out of here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I am doing quite well. I am actually coming to you today to work on my Gina Aaron's Design Team prompt. And this month is Peak, Height, and Flourish. And I don't know why, but I'm into this black and white deal right now. Um, and, and I'm going to add just a touch of color here and there, but not a whole lot. Um, I gotta find my little my little plate to put some color on. Um, so what I'm gonna do, first thing I did is this is one of my journals that I've just been working in. It's got a lot of odd and end stuff in it. Um, and here we go. We've got a clear page. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a one page or if it's gonna be a two page. I'm not sure yet. Um, we've got some paint around the edges. That's okay. I don't mind. Let me see if there's any other. I don't know if there's anything else in here where I'd want to do this. Um, i got to tape that back down. Now, nah. Alright, let's just stick with this page that we were looking at. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is grab some wax paper. Um, don't know where it is, so we're going to grab some jelly paper. I don't know what happened to my wax paper, but... And the reason I'm going to put this here is because I want to gesso this. I want it to be white. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Let's grab some gesso. And oh, you would have thought I'd have been ready to do this, right? No, not Cindy. All right, I love this gesso. I love um, how thick it is. This is, I can never say it, aqua, aqua. Aqua Krill? I don't know. However, see it? And this is what I love about it. It's a thick, heavy gesso. So if you're having issues with your gesso and want to find something that's really um, nice and thick, and it's just creamy, just like butter. Actually, I think this works better than buttering my bread. But um, I just, I want some gesso on here. Let's throw some texture in there, shall we? Let's just get... It doesn't have to be perfect. I just... I don't want the yellow. See the difference between the yellow and the white? I want it to be white. So that's what we're playing with today. So I hope you guys definitely check out uh, Gina's goodies. I love the designs that she comes up with. I have fun with her stamps. Um, they're just, I, I, there's always something you can do with them. They're just a lot of fun and they're very original, which is another thing I like about it. You know, they're not the normal, um, <laughs> not saying you're not normal, Gina. <laughs> they're not the, uh, I don't know. They're just not the everyday run of the mill stamps that you find, you know, in your, your local craft stores. So um, I enjoy them, and I also enjoy her stencils. Now, I don't know as I'm going to use any stencils on this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We're just winging it. What I did is I went through my stamped images, and I just pulled out some stuff um, that I have um, already stamped of Gina's. And they're all, like I said, they're all black and white. So I'm just going to play with them and see how this page turns out and just enjoy it. Isn't that what it's about? It's playtime. Yeah, and it's going to take me a bit to get this gesso dry because I'm putting it on quite thick. So I just want the texture up there pretty much. Let's make this flat down here. As flat as I can. Yeah, right now I'm just playing. I'm having fun with this. <laughs> so, all right. We're just going to have all the texture up here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take these out of here so I don't get gesso all over everything. And I am going to, um, I'm going to dry this up. I'm going to dry it up the best I can so I can continue playing with it right now. So, let me do that, and I'll be back, and I'll show you what images I have and what the plan is or what I'm thinking about, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so, yeah, I went and had lunch. 
<laughs> so I'm dry, which is awesome. Now, um, what I'm going to use is, like I said, I, I'm just I'm in the mood to do like a subtle a subtlety when it comes to color. So let me grab. I don't think that brush is soft enough. Let me grab a soft brush, and these are called um, Peps or smoothies from Mayped Helix, and they are. Um, just full of, of color so we're gonna use those so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take some water I'm gonna put some water out here first I'm gonna put some of these peps peeps color peeps color peeps color peps I don't know how you want to say it but I'm gonna take some of this blue and I'm just gonna color it on the plastic okay so I'm basically just putting pigment down take some of this yellow do the same thing here and we're going to take some of this green okay and then I am just going to take I have some water here it's not real dirty yet thank goodness it's got a little bit of white in it from the gesso but that's it I'm just going to take some of the water and I'm going to wet my peps here. That's all. I need more blue than that. So, and like I said, all I'm doing is I'm just I'm pushing relatively hard to get that down on the on the plastic. But I just want to throw some color down in here. You know, it doesn't need to be um, completely saturated, right? So I'm just going to get a little bit more water with my yellow. I'm going to take some yellow. My blue and yellow, which is going to turn into my green. Take my green. I just want that subtle color. You know, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't need to cover the whole thing. I just want that subtlety. See, we've got that subtlety of color. Let's just use the rest of it on here. Take some of that blue. Get some of that. All right, so that's what I wanted to do with those. Just wipe this off. I don't want to hit on that paper towel, but just picking some of it up. Yeah, I like that. See, just very subtle. Cool. All right, set these aside. And then... I have all of these cutouts here. Now I'm going to have to do some fussy cutting. Um, scissors. Isn't she cute? Isn't she adorable? A sweet friend of mine sent me this. I absolutely love her. She's so cool. She's got to stick around with me. All right. I'm going to take... Here's my thought. These are a bunch of cutouts, um, or stamped images, I should say, of Gina's. This is one that she sent me a while back, and it's basically her flower blown up. And I've been thinking about this, and what I want to do, I'm going to cut this apart. And I'm going to use these parts here. In my project. Is that dry yet? Not yet. There's one. And we're just going to use these. There's two. I got to do, I want three at least. Okay, there's those. This is just a big, big, big leaf, which I'm going to cut down a little bit. I don't want it quite so big. Move 
these aside. Find my scraps here. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a really cool scene out of all this stuff. All right, let me do my fussy cut and get this done, and I'll come back and we'll put it all together. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got all my fussy cutting done, and I'm sitting here looking at this, and I'm going, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. That's not what I want yet. So we're going to go back to putting our blue down. It's just not quite wait there yet for me so I'm just gonna play oops what have I got on there gesso maybe yeah I think I got some gesso I was I don't know always something isn't it all right so I just I want to bring this down more let's bring you over you know even though I've got um get you wet I got some clumps here, which is fine. I just I want to bring this down more, and because I I'm thinking about what I'm doing, and I want to um, I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so let's just bring this down. Do 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 do. My husband's out mowing the lawn. I ask him to please stay away from this side of the house for a little while. <laughs> He's funny. He knows when I'm recording. He comes in and he just stands there. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> He's so good. He's a good one. He's a good one. As we say, he's a good one. I'll keep him. Another day or two anyways. All right. So just getting some more blue. I want some more yellow. We're just gonna, yeah, there we go, that's better. I'm not sure I like all that, um, where it's got that line of split, but there's nothing I can do about it now. So, I can just only play, right? It's all right, it's all good. We'll make it happen. It just looks like there's lots of clouds up there and then there's whatever. Whatever's. All right, I'm not worried about the background. So let me dry this up really quick. And then what I'm gonna do is I wanna work on um, the background a little bit more. And I'm kinda, I, I'm in this mood to do it subtle. So let's work with it, see what we can get, see if we can keep it subtle, and I'll be right back. Let me dry it up. All right, so I'm sitting here talking away while I'm playing around. I added a little bit more green down there just to make things work a little better for me. So I'm sitting here talking away and I look up, my camera's not on, sorry. All right, um, I've got some archival inks here. Um, and I've got, I almost had a meltdown, I have to tell you. I could not find this set of stamps. <laughs> I, I was not a happy camper. <laughs> So I'm looking and looking. I'm like, where are they? I can't believe I can't find them. So anyways, I found them. They were just put back behind another set of stamps, which, you know. All right. So like I said, it, it the, the prompt this month is peak height and flourish. And I will get there, I promise. But in the meantime, I want to use some of this. So like I said, I want to have these kind of subtle on here. So what I plan on doing, let me start with the purple. That's not subtle, is it? Um, I'm going to get some ink, and then I'm just going to come over here, and I'm just going to, I kind of want it to go away, see? So I'm just going to use my deli paper to take that first. Just kind of, kind of like a ghost, a ghost, you know, stamp. That's kind of what I'm looking for. All right, so there's that one. And then I want to take this blue, and this one I'm going to do by hand. And this is just her writing. It actually probably says something. I don't know what, but, you know, that's okay. We don't need to know. 
I just want the little subtle hint of it on here. There we go. I think some of my gesso deep inside might still be wet. All right. I don't know. Can you guys see that? See, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's just very subtle. Here's a little bit. A little bit here. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. Now let's take this orange. What is this color? Bright Tangelo. I'm really surprised. I only have a few of these archival inks, but I'm really getting so I like them more and more. I never used to use them a lot in my art. Um, let's do some stars. Where's my stars? Look at that. Take some stars. I think I bought these used from somebody because that's why they're all icky like that. Too much off. Yeah, there we go. And then the last one we're going to do is the yellow. And let's do... Like I said, this is my favorite set. Um, hmm, I want to do some of these. So that is right here. And just playing. All right, so those are done. And I know I don't have to, but I'm going to just hit them. All right, now, here we go. These, this is what I envisioned when I saw the prompt. This is what I envisioned. This is a mushroom, which is from Diane Reevely. Um a set of Diane Reevely's stamps. Don't ask me why the mushroom, I don't know. And then I envisioned these little guys, where are they? There they are. <laughs> these, oh, that's not gonna work. We'll have to do it with these two. We'll have to use these guys here. I envision these little guys standing on the mushroom. Okay, and they're gonna hold up these little guys. Actually, this guy's gonna sit here. These little guys aren't gonna work, so they're gonna have to go somewhere else. So, and then I envisioned, don't ask me why, this little tree right here. And this little tree right here. And then this little bitty house. Now, where are... Did I have one more tree? Nope. Alright, so what are we going to do with these guys? We're going to put these guys down here. I don't know, I just thought it was so cute! So anyways, um, this is my idea. So let me, let's get out. I still want to put this guy in here. And I have a couple other things here. Um, maybe instead of that tree, I'll do this tree. Let's put this tree over here. Nobody's got to know that it doesn't go down, do they? Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to put down this. And I'm going to grab my glue stick, not that one. Oh, and see? Because I use just wipe that off, you know, to we have some extra deli paper there. Let me take this one. Gonna turn it over so I don't get gesso on everything. Ugh. Gonna glue this baby down. 
you guys are having fun with uh, all of the design team members this year on Gina's team because I'll tell you, it's been a ton of fun. I'm going to put you right here, kind of off center a little bit. Um, it's been a ton of fun, and the ladies are all doing just a fantastic job. Um, everybody does something a little bit different, and it's just amazing the creativity that's out there and the imaginations and it's just awesome I'm my, my rag here okay just want that to stick on there get up here big guy my glue's not sticking all right so here's these little guys so definitely check out in the description box, um, check out the links below of all the ladies and what they're doing because like I said, it's just, they're phenomenal. They're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. And let's put this guy, oh, these guys just had to be here. And this little guy's going to go on top. I don't know my thought was that these guys were bigger than life itself so they were just stacked all up on this great big huge mushroom um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a mushroom but that's what I found when I was going through my stuff so it's a mushroom all right and then like I said, I had this idea for these little bitty tree, this little bitty house. I'm not sure where I got this little bitty house. I know it's in a stamp set that I own. To be honest with you, I have so many stamps, and right now they are not organized the way I would like them to be. So um, I'm not really sure at this point who made this stamp. Um, but I'm sure if you just check, you know, house rubber stamps or clear stamps, you'll be able to find, um, you know several sets out there so it's gonna have this little house here we're gonna put this big old tree here big old tree outside that house and I really need a longer stem because I really want to use this tree also so that stem's not going to work, but you know what? We can use this, or we can use this. Where's my scissors? Right in front of me. Let's use this. So you know, think about um, the stamps and the designs and stuff you have, and see what um, what you can do with them. They don't have to be, I mean, these are flowers that I'm using. That's a leaf, you know? You don't have to stay with, um, you know, what the stamp itself is, you know? Um, this house, if I was making a great big, I don't know, a big building, that house could be a window in that building, right? Just think about your stamps and all of your supplies in a totally different way. They don't have to be what they are. Does that make sense? All right, I like this tree right here. So we're going to add this tree. Love it. Yay. And then we have this tree, which is going to go up here. I have so much fun just thinking of different ways to use this stuff. There we go. So that's a big tree. All right. I want to make sure that they're all glued down. Yeah, something's wet up in here. Okay. Now, these three little guys, I'm still going to put them in here. they got to come down here. These guys are just going to hang out on the bottom. I can't do all that fussy cutting and then not put them on, right? So let's have these guys just hang out here down at the bottom. Or you know what? I got a better idea. I just got a better idea. 
this one. It's going to go up here. Because they're high up in the tree. Where'd they go? <laughs> um. <laughs> Lost my other two birds. Oh, there's lots of stuff down there, but no. Where'd they go? <laughs> I feel like Mary Abrams right now. I lost it. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, there they are. Look. Look. <laughs> I found them. They were stuck to my arm. <laughs> oh, too funny. I do stuff like that all the time. My husband just shakes his head. <laughs> He's just like, really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> lost it. Let's put this guy right here. Let's cover up those hearts on it. He's going to sit right there. Now where'd he go? Here he is. Yeah, because, you know, height, peak, they're at their peak of their fun. All right, they're all way up high. Okay. Now, I'm going to dry this glue really good. And then I'm going to come back in as soon as I can find them with my Derwent uh, Intense Pencils. Either that or I'll do my Arteza, whichever ones I can find. I will come back in. We'll give these guys a little bit of life. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the thing. I just spent the last 15 minutes um, sharpening all my Derwents because they were, they were all just down to little nubs, and I, I don't want to do this huge. So let's see what we've got here. Um, let's take out, I want a little bit of orange. A little bit of this green. I'm just gonna pull out the ones I think I might use. Is that one black? That's a gray. That'll work. Um, just gonna pull out some colors here. Uh, deep indigo. We'll use that one. And then uh, we'll get playing with these. Couldn't believe it though. I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I gotta go through. And it drives me crazy. I can't just sharpen one. <laughs> I have to sharpen them all. I don't know. It's a thing. It's a Cindy thing. All right, so, and I have my water brush here. Um, this is just a cheap one. So what I wanna do, I don't really wanna color these all per se. I just wanna, you know, put a little bit of, of color to them. Just a little bit to show that they're not all just black and white. So, ooh. Yeah, these are on copy paper, so I have to be really careful with these. Let's just, you know what, and this pen lets out way too much water. Let's find a decent one. Ooh, that's too big. Too big, too big, too big. What about this one? Tiny. I don't know. These white ones, or clear ones, or whatever you want to call them, um, this one says I think it's a Marvy. Um, I like these better. Uh, this is a Pentel. It j they just seem to have a better flow of water, and um, I don't know. I just like them better. So that's what I use. Just a little bit of orange right there. Just kind of... You know, like I said, I don't want them to be, um, you know, big, huge, colorful birds. That's not what I'm looking for today. Yeah, I'm, hmm, got too much water on there. It drives me crazy. So let's just kind of see if we can spread that out a little bit more. That works. A little bit more through here. And then we'll just kind of, there we go. That's better. Um, let's see. Is that my outline? No. Outline. I just want to put their feet in here. I love these little, I don't know what you call them, bloomers. At the tops of their legs. They're so funny. Just love those little bloomers. I got the bloomers on. 
when I do these, um, I don't want to do it the same color. Let's do some blues. Uh, when I do these um, design team prompts, I love to just take the time to just play and, you know, see what else, you know, comes of it. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a great big huge art journal page or a, you know, uh, but I, I'm enjoying just playing. I just, I don't know, I, I like to play with the supplies and, and see what I can make them do or see, you know, just see, just to see. I love to see. So, you know, don't think that you, you have to do, a, you know, a complete journal page on the prompt. Maybe you want to make some embellishments. Maybe when you heard the words height or peak or, um, what's our other one? Height, peak, or, I can't remember the third word now. Um, maybe, you know, you thought of an embellishment to make that you could use in your art journals in the future. Go for it. You know, we don't, we're not limiting your imagination by any means. Go for it, have fun with it, and just enjoy, enjoy the process. Now, nope, see, I am making this bird a little bit more prettier. Pretty bird. He's a pretty bird. All right, let's go back to this one. I want this one a little bit darker. Yeah, see, I was gonna do subtle, and now I gotta, I've gotta pop the color. Pop it. So much for subtle, huh? That's all right. These are cute birdies. They deserve to be colorful. All right, now I want to take, let's take like this color. We're just going to play and color and just chit chat while I'm doing it. Tubs is out mowing lawn. It looks like it's cloudy out there. He's probably doing it today so he doesn't have to do it tomorrow. This weekend, um, this is actually going to air a couple weeks from now, but this weekend I have a, um, a little, it's not a class per se, it's a group of people here in the south that get together to do some art journaling. So I've joined the group and I'm going to go on Saturday. Later on today I've got to get an art bag done up, packed up. Hubs will put all the stuff in the car and then I'll have somebody at the place, um, uh, you know, bring it in for me, which they've always been really good about that kind of stuff. So that should be fun. We got purple mushrooms. That works, right? Nothing wrong with that. They don't have to be real purples, real dark purple. Gonna throw some color down and move it around. There we go. Woo! Get back here, you. Yeah, so I'm I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Um, I guess normally somebody you know just does a technique or whatever, but I'm not really sure. I talked to the um, girl that owns the shop, and uh, she said there's you know they have an their own group. She doesn't actually run it. Um, couple of the girls that go there do and um, it'll be interesting to see you know what they do and hmm, you never know maybe I'll learn something maybe I can show somebody something who knows you know so it should be fun at least I'll get to know more people in the area that you know work on this kind of stuff which would be cool uh, what's this one carmine pink exactly what I was looking for carmine just make our dots. Don't mind me, I'm holding up my head. <laughs> well, I guess you guys can't see that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm putting shadows on there. Um, yeah. It's been a rough couple weeks. A lot of pain. It's crazy. I think part of it's the weather. You know, just getting adjusted to the weather. And, and uh, being busy and you know I think moving the whole house and all that and getting everything organized it's it's just slowly caught up with me and 
A couple days ago, I had just a plain old couch day. I was like, I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm not cooking. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and that was just the way it was. <laughs> but Hobbs is good to me when it comes to that kind of stuff. He, uh, he understands, so he doesn't give me any guff about it. Okay, so now this I probably should do in some more, but you know what? I'm just gonna do the outsides a little bit more. Oh, my glue didn't stick. I'm gonna have to re glue it. Maybe just some down through here a little bit, down here a little bit, just to give it a little bit more fullness. darker spots. I love my little mushrooms. Alright, now we're going to work on these birdies and this flower. So let me go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, um, I've been playing around with this and there's still quite a bit more I want to do. And I am going to put this uh, saying down here, which I just did with my um, label maker. And it just says, climb to new heights. Uh, the reason I'm coming back to you right now is because my husband is going to be mowing right outside my window. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just finish up this page. I'll come back in. I'll just kind of show you and then say goodbye, okay? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Check out the other artists. See what they've all come up with. And I've had a lot of fun doing this today. Um, it's just, it's fun. It, it's fun to play. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope you don't hear the lawnmower because here it comes. Um, and you guys have a wonderful day. I will chat with you again soon.